Era para comunicarles eso. I believe I'm ten times better than PK ever was. Vengo debajo en mi cama, cuatro aeropuerto. Mentira. Soy el tío del hijo de Shakira. Mentira. What's up, big boys, and happy Friday, and welcome to the La Liga Santander Plus Super League team of the season release. That is right, a brand new team of the season releases upon us came out about an hour ago. Just completed the Episodia SBC that we're doing today, and it is going to be, if you haven't been able to tell by the title and the thumbnail, we're going to be looking at 96 End of Era, Diego Godin, a player who just got married. Uh, is not going to be returning to Atletico Madrid next year, uh, next season. We don't know if the same is going to hold true for Griezmann, but uh, a very, very emotional card. Now, a couple things we want to get to before that. Player prices for Liga Santander are a little bit out of whack already. Uh, the same thing that happened with Bundesliga. Some of the players are extinct. For example, that Ben Yedder, who is the card that I am most desiring out of this team of the season release, uh, is currently extinct and or going. I think the last one I saw... The, the price range was bumped up from 1.5 million up to 3, and he is currently insta-selling for 3 million coins. I think he might normalize around 2.5, 2.6. So we're going to try and get ourselves a hold of that card, but in my opinion, that already early looks uh, to be one of the most broken cards in FIFA. Now, today... Money. We don't often do uh, defenders. We did the end of Era Barzali, and I feel like we had to honor this 96 Diego Godin card. It is not cheap. 600,000 coins is what it's going for. You get about 175k worth in pack value back. You get 250k packs from the SPC of 45k, and I believe a 35k as well. Some interesting things, th things about this card. 392 total upgrade from his 91 rated card, which goes for about 200k on Xbox. So figure 200k on Xbox. His SPC is going for about 600k. So obviously that's a 400k uh, price difference. Differential, and if you factor in the 175k packs, uh, we are going to see how those give out at the end of the epi. He's got the same number of 99 rated stats as Team of the Year Ronaldo. It comes in at 10. If we count them up here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yep, that was right. And then he's got no stats. You'll notice something very interesting about this card. There's no stats between 80 and 90 rating. Legitimately. You, there's. It's either... Light green, yellow, or full green. There are no 80 rated stats. He's got two 80 rated face card stats, 84 passing and 80 dribbling. But when it comes to uh, in-game stats, there is nothing between 80 and 90. So a very interesting, interesting set of stats for his card. He gets eight total in-game stats among any center back in FIFA 19 and comes in just behind Team of the Year Ronaldo, uh, just behind Team of the Year Varane and Ramos in terms of total in-game stats in La Liga. Now, you look at those defending stats... 99 in every category except for interceptions and who really is complaining about 97 he might just be one of the most perfect defenders in the game he's got the short passing which is something that i love in the david luis flashback card 99 short passing 90 shot uh, long pass and he's got 97 shot power boys we put the hunter chem style on him brings him up to 66 finishing we're gonna see if maybe he can get some stuff done in the box what i want to try and do is we've also got 96 pk in the squad and maybe we try running the both of them up at striker if you guys want to dedicate PK at Striker Episodia. No, if this episode helps you figure out if you want to complete or not complete 96 Diego Godin, as always, boys, drop a cheeky like on the video. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below. Uh, I think we got pretty much everything out of the way. 96 Godin looks great. Again, 175k total in-game stats is what you get back from the card. And really, you just... <sighs> Some of the complaints are that it's really expensive, but it's a 96. Of course it's going to be expensive. We'll take a quick look at PK's card. He's got himself a nice bit of finishing with 83 if you put the, the Hunter Kemp style on him. And then the defending stats are not too shabby indeed, but they are not on par with that Diego Godin. It's interesting though, right? Like... Where do you draw the line between, you know, if every defending stat's over 95, does it really matter if they're all 99? Certainly, you would imagine that has an effect in game, but uh, we will find out here. He's got 99 composure. Again, I really do want to try PK, PK out at striker. In theory, goes up to 91 sprint speed with 76 acceleration in game. Santika Dorla's card actually looks pretty decent as well. Stamina leaves a little bit to be desired, but 86 finishing with 99 composure, 93 shot power, 92 long shots, and passing stats for days. This 93 Santika Zorla card for, for 195,000 Coins looks like he could be a bargain. Again, engine's probably best suited for him. You want to get his pace up. Should we have them as play as striker? What does that even do? I don't even know what that does, but we're going to do it. And we're going to see if Diego Godin and Pique, whatever that just does, I think that makes them go forward. We're going to see if they can get it done at striker. 95 All Black, arguably the best keeper in the world. Uh, also a very uh, nice little bargain for him. I believe we got him under 200,000 coins as well. Let's get into match number one. Vamos.
way, today's kit is the uh, the di the third Digi Real Madrid kit. Uh, the 96 Benzo card is actually one I want to take a look at, to be honest with you. I know he gets a lot of flack on the channel over the past, over the course of the years. But uh, his card actually looks really decent. That Ben Yedder, the, uh, the Ben Yedder, the Benzo, and then I'm trying to think who else. There's a couple others, but Ben Yedder and Benzema. Would you guys want to see Epis on those two cards? There we go. Look at the beast. The beast himself. You're such a drama queen, dude. Get up. My god. <laughs> Come on. Yo, that was all. That was all Diego Godin. He deserved to bang that in, bro. Diego Godin, go on, you mad lad. What do you got? 96 Godin. Now. His SPC goes for under for about 595,000 coins. If he was on the market, if if 96 PK, okay, f given his stats, 96 PK goes for 391,000 coins, okay? If 91 PK, if 96 PK goes for 391,000 coins, how much should this Diego how much would this Diego Godin go for on the market? Godin. Yo, he's everywhere. The first half has been an absolute defensive lockdown between PK and Godin. Even with taking a couple cheeky chances, cheeky chances, trying to get up top uh, to create some um, goal-scoring opportuni opportunities for or for PK and Godin, they they track back well enough, dude. These guys are absolute mad lads. There we go. There's that strength. That was sloppy on my part. Oof! God, Godin! If Godin was there, that would be in. He was making that run, though. So, match number one, a 2 1 score line, 391 for, uh, for, for 96. 359, okay? He's coming down in price. I think we lost. I think we lost about 50k on him already, but um, Godin and PK. I wonder what happens if we bring him up at striker. I think what I'm going to do is for the first half of the next game, I'm going to switch PK and Via, and then bring Via back at left center back. We're going to have a little bit of fun with this because I think sometimes we take the game a little bit too seriously. Riata de Taz, so David Via. <laughs> okay, okay, PK right striker. If you guys have ever watched PK play futsal, he deserves. At least three-star skill moves. He, and I hate saying this, but he's actually very, very skillful on the ball. PK. It's the most PK goal that you're ever going to score. 1-0, 96 team of the season. Gerard PK goes ahead and he bangs himself a goal. What is it, 75, 76 finishing? Sorry, PK, but what was that pass? Gerard PK, dude. You guys know I don't get a lot of opportunities to give him compliments, but 96 sh short passing, 95 long passing? And God under. I think, dude, PK gets two goal contributions in this, not even the 16th minute, and PK has already possibly caused a rage quit with his first goal and then also an assist. Is he out of here? Damn, dude. It's not an in by PK off the fingertips of Lopez. We are tied. Oh, Pico! PK! The antagonist! Because. 
Um, Ekumi, ek it's, uh, it's Wikipedia. Look at Godin's positioning. Just watch him. Yeah, nice try. Dude, he's trying to cross it into the guy in the far post, and Godin is such an absolute Uruguayan mad lad. That was my that was my fault. That was user error. Um I wanna be the very best. No one ever Oh wants. god! We had that one chance with Diego Godin, and I wonder, is it too early? Let's try and build on that, because that looked like that, would, that was actually working. The Godin and PK connection down the right side, they both have incredible passing. There's no player on the team that has better combined uh, passing stats than the two of them. They both have 95. Well, Godin doesn't. Godin has 99 short passing. PK's got 96. PK's got 95 uh, long passing, and then um, Godin's got 90. So the two of them combined are actually kind of snackish together. I'm not going to lie. There we go. Godin with the intercept. Godin with the interception. Godin is able to recover on his own. He doesn't need uh, he doesn't need assistance to be able to recover those balls. <laughs> the Gerard PK body fate. Come on, boys. It's the one time of the year, and he's. Godin wasn't quite what we expected as a striker, but somehow PK was. Now PK's agility 70, which is the exact same. Sorry, uh, Godin's got 72. He's got 61 finishing. PK's got 78. PK's actually got a obviously a few years of a few years of experience on the channel with his team of the season card banging in goals. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna forfeit his last match. We're not gonna play Godin up at striker properly. He had that one chance, and because he missed that, I think we're gonna have to just we're gonna have to honorably give PK the trophy of the striker, the the La Liga striker back, La Liga striker back. I kind of like the sound of that. The La Liga striker back uh, trophy was actually very, very good for us. And I attribute the four goals that we did concede, obviously, to the fact that we had David Villa in there as our, as uh, one of our center backs, which <laughs> I'm not sure the next time we do that. Again, if you guys want a dedicated uh, PK at strike rep, you guys let me know. But that was, uh, that was fun. That was exciting. Now, Godin felt every bit as locked down as he looks in terms of his card stats. Again, I, I, exp I explained that like the stretch Armstrong. You know what I mean? Like when you got a, when you got a defender coming straight at Godin, he, he absorbs... He absorbs the, the the area of play, if that makes sense. He literally turns it into his own. The question remains, is he worth 600 coal? Okay, hold on. Blue, stop it. Oh, God! No! No, no, it's going to be a lot. It's going to be super late. Yeah, of course it's going to be super late. The goalkeeper, De uh, Desberlin, Gunuk. Okay, so we get a team of the season. Hey, you know what? We get a blue in a team of the, in one of the 50K packs. You run a Liga Santander side. I think you could make a, valued or a valid argument that he would be worth it at 600K. Again, the main point to drive home is that he's obviously not going to cost that much unless you're legitimately filling up a starting from a fresh account and have nothing in your squad. So uh, the packs were not great for us by any means. We get ourselves an 87 team of the season. What is it? Gozum? got the height. He's got every stat that you could possibly want. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed the epi. The packs weren't great, but about 150, 170,000 coins worth of pack value there. Got ourselves a blue. And uh, whether or not he's worth it as a striker, that is yet to be determined. Didn't look like he could cut it out there. PK, however, did surprise us. Was very, very, was very surprised by the way he played up at striker. But uh, 96 Diego Godin, I would go so far as to say he is worth it because you can probably get him done for a little bit cheaper cheaper if you can get him done for if you can get him done for about as much as you would cost in the market which would be about 300 350k maybe even 400k i would say just go ahead if you run a liga sandander side get it done uh and you do get some nice packs back in return so i'm gonna say worth it even though he's an outrageously priced card he is as jape said on twitter an outrageous looking card but anyway boys if this did help you if you guys did enjoy the episode yeah, drop a like on the video if you guys are new to the channel hit that subscribe button down below i will see you guys for another upload tomorrow till next time bros Tschüss, later, ade.